Hey gamers, welcome back to JD's Arcade. All right guys, today we're gonna take a look at a game that was made by Tengen. Uh, a little bit of a weird one. Skull and Crossbones. As a one-eyed pirate who can walk, jump, duck, climb, and battle bad guys, you must rescue the princess from the evil wizard. As play begins, you select from six levels, including three pirate ships, a castle, a ninja camp, and a beach cave. Each level ends in a boss, and if you beat all six levels on the map screen, you unlock the Wizard's Isle, where you'll battle the evil wizard and save the princess. You can punch various bats, pirates, zombies, archers, mace swingers, executioners, skeletons, ninjas, and other enemies you'll encounter. Plus, pick up icons that will arm you with selectable weapons, including swords, daggers, guns, power fists, seeker fireballs, and magic scepter shots. You can also grab health, shields, extra time, extra lives, and booty for purchasing weapons. Atari's 1989 hack and slash arcade game of the same name placed more of an emphasis on skill-based sword fighting and a comical parrot that would follow you around. The storyline is different as well. The two-player simultaneous action remains intact in the NES game, but it's now split-screen, unlicensed and fairly hard to find. The six diverse stages can be played in any order, and when the game's over, you're rated on your performance. Drop your memories below. Thanks for watching.